What is good? My rags and fitness people, my rags and fitness folks, my rags and fitness fam. It's your man Rags. Back off up in this thing, and when I tell you I'm up in it, I'm talking about I need the ball the way off up in it. For my weight loss journey, people, keep God first, extremely important. Keep your head to the sky, shake all of the haters off. And for all of my Alabama Chris Tap football fans, can I please get a roll time? <laughs> hey guys, hey, as you can see in the background, old Raz got some boxing uh, video game footage up. Guys, I am ready for the Errol Spitz and the Terrence Crawford fight. Rags will have it on his channel tomorrow night. I'm ordering the pay-per-view. You can see me give you blow-by-blow -blow analysis. But guys, we're not here to talk about that right now at this minute. We're here to ask one question. Hey, Jeremy Pruitt. Where is he now? Guys, this news article went out earlier about Mr. Jeremy Pruitt. We all know that Mr. Jeremy Pruitt has a six-year show cause penalty, right? It's going to be a lot of hassle for any college football team to take him on right now. NCAA, right? He's going to carry a lot of other stipulations with him. Once you take him on your program, you're going to probably have to face some kind of consequences. We don't know the exact details of that, right? So this guy said, wait a minute. If I can't be in the NCAA collegiate level, let me go to the high school level, right? Mr. German Pruitt, right? He has went back home to what his high school alma mater is Plainview High School. That is in Rainsville, Alabama, right? This guy signed on to be a PE teacher, physical education teacher at the uh, high school, at uh, Plainview High School in uh, Rainsville, Alabama, right? This guy is also gonna be a junior high basketball coach, right? He's gonna help out with those guys too. Um, now, Mr. German Pruitt, we all know that you got yourself into some trouble. Mr. German Pruitt is even trying to appeal the uh, decision that came down upon him, right? Mr. German Pruitt decided, hey man, you're not gonna let me into the college realm, right? To impact these young men and try to uh, give these young men the guidance to head onto a straight path, right? Even though I did give them some money and all of that different kind of stuff, or allegedly gave them some money. Because Mr. German Pruitt said, hey, it wasn't like that. But what Mr. German Pruitt decided to do is, is not lay down and feel sorry from him, for himself. And he went out and he seeked something else. And Rainsville, Alabama, the city of Rainsville, right? School, Plainview High School said, hey, come on over here. I'm going to open up my arms. I'm going to welcome you in with a warm embrace, right? Come on over here, guy, and we got something for you. Now, Mr. Jim Pruitt has been in the NFL as far as coaching. He's been at um, the collegiate level coach. He's been the head man. He's been the coordinator. He's been all over some of the best programs, right? So I believe Mr. German Pruitt, even though he's been through all of this stuff that he's been going through, he is a prime candidate to be someone that's been, he's, 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 he's well versed in dealing with individuals, grown men, right? Those young men, right? Teenage men, right? Now he's going back to the teenage level. And he's going to be able to tell these young men something. They know he's been somewhere, right? He's going to be able to lead them and guide them into the right direction. And maybe even help some of these men get into colleges, right? With some of the relationships he might still have. Some of the ones he was able to salvage, right? So, with all of that being said, man, I think it's a good decision for Mr. Pruitt to go to the high school level and do what he do. That's just Rag's opinion, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys have your own opinion. Hey, you can voice it in my comment section. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys are going to be making videos on this, especially when they see certain individuals make it. Certain other individuals come out and they make videos on it. But listen, guys, I believe that Mr. Jeremy Pruitt made the right choice by going back to high school, right? Touching these young men's lives in the right place, leading these young men into the right direction. Like I say, he's been in the NFL organizations. He's seen a lot of people, talk to a lot of people. He know how to help these young men that probably wouldn't have had the guidance for, you know, the guys that they needed that Mr. Jeremy Pruitt may be able to give because, you know, some of these young high school guys, they go to these high schools, they the coach don't know much, but nothing but high school football. This guy knows the college level, he knows the pro level, right? 
And uh, like I say, I believe it's a good decision for him to do that. Um, I'm gonna even go a step further. Maybe I shouldn't, but I will. Uh, sometimes God, when God, guys, God work on us, uh, he send us in a direction that it may look like a, a, um, a leveling down, right? But it's not really that. It's, you, it, he's sending that man somewhere to maybe help somebody that may need some help. And especially, they got to come especially from Mr. German Pruitt. Guys, I may be getting deep. It may sound like I'm rambling, but that's just the way rags believe. God will put you at the right place at the right time. Even if it looked like that you're the villain, even if it looked like you're the one that's doing something wrong, sometimes God does his work in a mysterious way. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that before. But guys, um, on another note, I'm gonna switch gears real quick from uh, Mr. German Pruitt, right? We're gonna be talking about one of my high school coaches, one of the guys who, um, who, uh, you know, I kind of looked up to after, I, you know, I found out he played with Alabama. He was a, a, a stand-up guy, a man, the guy, man, Mr. Lee Osmond, man. Coach Lee Osmond, Coach Osmond is what we called him, right? Um, I got a story time that I want to tell you, but I don't think this is the right time to tell it with me doing uh, some reporting on German Pruitt, right? But Mr. Lee Osmond, I talked to Mr. Lee Osmond this morning and I asked him if he would be willing to come on to the show and talk to us guys. And he said, of course. He called me by my name. He said, of course, I would love to. I texted him back and I told him, I said, hey, I understand that you're a busy man. You're the head coach. I didn't even expect to get an answer for him, but I told you he's a stand up guy and that's what he does. He texted me back and he told me, hey, um, like I said, uh, I asked him about his facilities and he's the head coach of A-Rap football. He told me that I'm welcome there anytime, guys. So maybe I can go there sometime and get some footage of that football program and, and stuff like that, man. But uh, Mr. Lee Eisman was actually one of my coaches, man. Uh, he coached special teams and some more stuff that he coached. Uh, he, like I said, he's a stand-up guy. We had a run-in, me and Mr. Osmond did. I'm going to tell you guys about that in story time. And I hope he watched that video. And I hope he come in and chime in. But hopefully, guys, I might get you guys to give me some questions you might want me to ask Mr. Lee Osmond. Mr. Lee Osmond played from 86 to 89, right? Um, any questions you have that he played under Bill Curry, right? Um, man, anything you have you want me to ask him once we actually get him on. I don't know how fast we're going to be able to get on because I know he's preparing for the season. He told me anytime, but I know that he's got a season to prepare for, get his kids ready, man. And I don't want to interfere in that in any kind of way because I remember him being my football coach. And I remember how the prep, prep the prep, blah, 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 what drags, what did you say? The preparations <laughs> for that, I know what it entails, right? But guys, I just want to touch bases with you to say, hey, where is Mr. Jeremy Pruitt now? But that's where he at. He's going to be a physical education uh, teacher over at Plainview High School up in Rainsville, Georgia. I mean, Rainsville, Alabama, right? And this guy's actually going to coach the uh, junior high basketball team. He's going to help out with that. So he's going to take a little bit of a layoff from the football team. He's going to go and help out with the basketball team. He's going to be a very well-rounded guy once he's done with his rehabilitation process. And this is the part of that path right here. So guys, I know you like rapping a tad with me, right? But old Rags got to get out of here. But you might see Rags soon because we got a guy committing tonight. He's not committing to the Alabama Christmas time, but his name is Lester, Lester the third. We're gonna be doing a video on him. So stay tuned. That's gonna come around about 8.30, I think 8 o'clock, 8.30 is when he, Eastern time, it's when he's gonna commit but Rex also edited his videos and stuff like that. So, it's gonna be probably about nine o'clock, something like that, before I can get that video up. But guys, stay tuned. Old Rats got the latest recruiting details and the latest recruiting news here for you. You need to go no place but right here at Rags. But I will say this, tune in to everybody, like their channel, subscribe to their channel, but I'm just telling you, when it comes to that news, where you wanna get it from. Hey guys, you know I got a place right here in my heart for you. You know I love you. Already. Yeah!